Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the breakout rooms in Google Meet. So today, I'm going to show you the brand new breakout rooms that have just been announced for Google Meet. Now, this is a feature that teachers have been waiting for since the pandemic started in the spring. One of the reasons that a lot of teachers were using Zoom over Meet was because of the use of breakout rooms. And the breakout rooms in Google Meet are very easy to use and user friendly. One of the reasons that teachers were choosing Zoom over Google Meet was because of the breakout rooms. So today I'm going to show you how easy they are to use in Google Meet. So you'll see from the breakout rooms menu, you can decide how many rooms you want. Now Google Meet will allow you to have up to 100 rooms. For our purposes though, we're just gonna choose two and you have the ability to either shuffle what rooms the people go into or you can manually place them in there. So I only have two people right now, so it's going to put them both in the same breakout room, but I can move them around and put them in whatever room I want. I can also change what the breakout room is called or you hit the shuffle, you'll see it just randomly moves them around but it will try to evenly distribute them so that it won't put two in one room and none in the other. So let's put both of these accounts in the same room for right now. And then let's create the room so you can see what that looks like. And now as the host, I have the ability to join their rooms. And you'll notice there's little circles that are spinning. This is letting me know that I'm waiting for those people to enter the room. Now on their screen, they have a message that says, join a breakout room. You're joining room one. You can return to the main room at any time. And they can click either cancel or join. And you'll see that I just joined with one account. I'll join with the other one. And now this room is in session. So now I can go back and forth between the two rooms and join whatever meeting is happening. And at any point, you can edit the breakout rooms to add more or less rooms, to shuffle, to put people in different rooms. So if I wanted to take somebody out and put them in a different room, I can do that. And then once I click save, they get a message that says, you're joining breakout room two. You can return to the main room at any time, just like they did before. And that person is now in the other room. When you're finished and you wanna end the breakout rooms, simply click end breakout rooms and it will tell you that everyone will be returned to the main room. If you click end breakout rooms, it closes all of the rooms and everybody gets a message that says breakout rooms have ended. You're returning to the main room and then you click return and it's gonna create your regular room and force everybody back into it. And that's it, it's very simple. You can then go back at any point and create more breakout rooms. So if you wanted to have everybody in rooms, then pull them all back together to talk to everybody at once, you can end it, and then you can go back and create more rooms, or you can change the rooms. So there's lots of different options and lots of different uses uh, for these breakout rooms, but now teachers finally have the ability to quickly and easily do that in Google Meet. Now it is important to note that the breakout rooms are only available when the moderator who's logged in has an enterprise account or the enterprise account for EDU. And that moderator has to be logged into a desktop or a laptop, uh, but the participants themselves can be either on desktop, laptop, uh, or on mobile devices. It's also important to know that you cannot record the breakout rooms. So you can record the main room, but the breakout rooms will not be recorded. So this is a very big update for Google Meet and will really help a lot of teachers feel comfortable making that switch from Zoom into Google Meet. I know a lot of teachers that work in Google districts, but they love the breakout rooms in Zoom. So after seeing how easy this is for teachers and students to use, hopefully that will make this very easy for them to make that change. If you have plans for using the breakout rooms or if you've been using breakout rooms in Zoom, please let us know in the comments below how you've been using breakout rooms. And if you know a teacher that could benefit from watching this video, please feel free to share it with them. If you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button, and then click on the notifications bell so that you get updates every time a new video comes out. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, please take a second and do that at Dan Spada, or follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.